there. Do you remember when we were talking about these two bread loaves and we said they were like the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments and a lot of the festival of weeks for the Jewish people is about the law and how God gave the law so that they could have life and enjoy life with him. Well, under Jesus, we're no longer under the law. We don't have to follow a set of rules. Instead, we find at Pentecost time, we have to follow the Holy Spirit who tells us how to live and shows us what we should do. And that some Jewish people would say these two breads, if when they come to know Jesus, represent the Jewish people, but they are also now joined by those who are not Jews but can know God because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross. God wants us to enjoy his life and life in all its fullness. And part of that is having the Holy Spirit living in us. But the Holy Spirit doesn't just live in us so we can feel nice and have a great life. No, remember that barley harvest followed by the wheat harvest? Well, Jesus says the harvest is right, but the labourers are few. Ask God to send labourers into the harvest. He wasn't saying, tell people to go into the fields and harvest the wheat. No, he was saying there are lots of people who need to know about God, who need to hear about Jesus. And at this time of Pentecost, it's time to gather in that last harvest to say, guys, if you don't know Jesus, now is the time because Jesus is going to be coming back soon and you need to know him before he comes. And of course, we're going to need the Holy Spirit's help to do that. Not just to tell people about God, but to show them that God is real. When you have God's power living in you, you can pray for the sick. The Bible says lay hands on the sick and they will recover. You can cast out demons in the name of Jesus. That God gives us his power so that we can gather in the harvest and bring people to God. That is worth having. That is worth living for. That is worth giving everything to God for at this Pentecost time. Thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit.